What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to some brand new League SBCs. EA have dropped the J League and the French League. Uh, we have got Al Sommer who looks fantastic. 82 pace, 83 dribbling, 87 shooting, 84 passing and 80 pay, sorry, 84 physical with 80 passing. And of course he's 6 foot 4 inches tall with 4 star, 4 star. But the one that we're going to be focusing on today is the 90 Edison Cavani. 82 pace, 85 dribbling, 89 shooting, 84 physical and 79 passing. Now, I have taken uh, objection uh, to the way FIFA has done Cavani's card this year. I was vocal about it. I don't think they've given him enough composure at 83. I don't give him, think they've given him enough finishing at 83 as well. So I'm hoping that this 90 rated card is going to be a huge upgrade. Now, as per usual, guys, I've actually completed a lot of the teams already. Uh, I've done all of them but one. Uh, if we could drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. What I'm going to do first and foremost, guys, I'm going to complete this team and show you the best way to maximise your profits and um, get this done for as cheap as possible. So uh, we're going to go to the French League. It is Toulouse and Concept Players. Yes, so I already have lots of players in my club, so um, a lot of this stuff is probably already going to be done. We could pop this guy up in here. Uh, we could pop this guy. Let's put him in there and then swap these two around. Uh, we could pop this centre back in there. So I'm a few players short, which is actually fantastic because I didn't want to have all of the players, funnily enough. Oh, actually, I might not be any players short. Um, so two things are going to happen, right? If you're selling, I'm going to advise you how to sell. And if you're buying, I'm going to advise you how to buy. So if you're selling, don't sell right now. You see how this player, there is so many of him. He might be 3K now or 2K now. I don't know, but look at that. We're pages on pages on pages of him. There are literally, I'd say, potentially hundreds of this guy on the market. So if you're selling, just wait a day, maybe a day and a half before you start offloading these players. Because once people get bored of relisting, forget to undercut, just put them back in their club or use them and get rid of them, these players are going to be rarer and rarer. So as a selling card, now is not the time to sell. Just wait like two days. As a buyer... If you want to complete this ASAP, there is no better time than right now to complete this because the players will be at their absolute cheapest. Now, we can pick this guy up for about 3,500 coins, right? Uh, if I do see one for like 2k or less, I'll pick it up. Uh, I'm not going to get him for that much. And we can pick up this guy. Uh, and again, look at that. There's pages. There's a 3k bid on him there. I'm not interested in him at 3k. That's far too much, right? We've already got a 75 rated team and 100 chemistry. And we can easily convert Gradel to a centre forward to get seven extra chemistry if we need to. So what we're looking for is how do we get these even cheaper? So we have two right backs on the bench and one right back already in the squad. So we're actually going to take one of these right backs. And uh, it's likely that he'll be cheap or cheaper than the left back and the left mid because there are three right backs. So there's one there for 2,900 and we're not even 20 minutes in. So I assume I'll be able to pick one up for like 2,200 or less. Let's go all the way up to like the 40th minute. There was one at 2,100. There's 2,000. And now we have a look. So 1,700 coins, that's fine. So if you're a buyer, be vigilant with the way you uh, use your coins. You know, instead of buying this left back here for 3, 4K, just put the right back in at left back, no problem at all. Uh, we also need a left midfield. Hey, we could do the same thing with the right midfield. We've already got a right midfield in the spot. This guy's got a 2K bid on him. I'm not really interested in that. Uh, let's take a look at the CDM. So there's the, we're going to get this guy for probably a thousand coins or less. If I actually see him for a thousand uh, or less, I'll pick it up straight away. Um, and yeah, there we go, a thousand coins. So you could probably even get this guy for less than a thousand coins. And this is how you want to build your teams. You just want to be smart with the way you do it. So he takes us down to 90 chemistry. But if we switch him with the center mids, that puts us up to 93. So we're three chemistry short. Now we've got a first owner here, so we could swap that around. That leaves us one chemistry point short. And where we're going to get that chemistry point from is going to be converting our cam up to a centre forward. Now, cam to centre forward cards aren't necessarily crazy cheap, uh, but it's definitely cheaper than buying a player for even more coins. And he gives us seven chemistry, which actually, or seven bonus chemistry, which actually gives us more luxury for other positions. So you can see here I've got a right back at left back, a centre mid at left mid, a centre forward at striker. Uh, and, you know, the CDMs obviously in a centre mid doesn't really make much of a difference. But as, as I say, guys, as a buyer, go and buy these cards for as cheap as you can as quick as possible. Because they're only going to, especially the rare ones, they're only going to get more and more expensive until they go up like three, four, five times the value. So the sooner you can get those rare cards, the better. As a seller, 
don't sell yet. Hold on to your valuable cards, specifically the silver and bronzes, and specifically the fullbacks, right? For some reason, fullbacks, centre backs, and like wide mids sell way more than strikers, centre mids, and goalkeepers. So make sure you hold on to those for as long as possible. It will be good for you. We're going to turn that squad in. Now, I'm actually going to go and turn in all of these squads, guys, because we've got it done. Uh, as I said, I'm not going to be um, doing the um, J-League one here today just because I don't need to. I don't want to. I, I will do it. I'll do it in time. I just, I'm just not going to do it today. I don't think it's one that uh, you guys really care too much about seeing. It's a good card, but in terms of the teams and stuff, um, the packs, they're not great because it's a lot of bronze and silver teams. It's a lot of terrible packs. However, a lot of the new packs that EA put into the game, we're getting here. So uh, we'll run through the packs, actually. A jumbo premium gold pack for this team here. We'll claim that. Dijon is going to offer us a premium gold pack for a full silver team. That's not bad. Um, uh, Dijon's actually probably going to be one of those ones that's mad expensive. And overall, I think this SBC is really, really cheap. I don't know what it's going for right now. I don't know what Footbin is saying in terms of the, uh, the value of the SBC. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a value up yet or not for it. Um, so it says it's 275k on PlayStation. Now, it might be 275k on PlayStation. I think that's an over-exaggeration. I think you could do it cheaper, especially because I know a lot of you guys that do the bronze pack method will have a lot of these players in your club already. So it'll be cheaper than what you can get it for on there. And people haven't found the most efficient way of using the cheap low rate of bronzes with the cheap high rate of golds to, to benefit them. I would actually say you're probably looking at 250, 240, maybe 230. Uh, then you'll have some players in your club, which will be great. That'll bring the price down to potentially under 200,000. You get 22 and a half K coins for completing it. Uh, so that brings it down well under 200,000. And then you get a lot of packs. Now in terms of the packs... Uh, we're getting Prime Silver Players Pack, which is pretty good, and a lot of those silvers will be worth a lot, especially because of the SBCs now. Premium Election Players Pack, Small Rare Gold Players Pack, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, Premium Gold Pack, Rare Gold Pack. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, another Prime Silver Players Pack, Premium Gold Pack, Small Prime Gold Players Pack, uh, Small Rare Gold Players Pack, Prime Mixed Players Pack, Rare Gold Pack, Premium Election Players Pack, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, Prime Gold Players Pack, Prime Gold Players Pack. Oh, two Prime Gold Player Pack. That's pretty decent. Premium Electron Players Pack. A Rare Gold Pack. A Premium Electron Players Pack. And a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. So you get a lot of packs. Like, what are we looking at? Maybe like three hundred to 400,000 coins worth of packs right there. And I'm telling you now, guys. I think the current value on Footbin of this SBC is higher than it actually is. And it says it's 275 on PlayStation and 320 on Xbox. I personally believe you can do it right now for 250 to 270 on each console if you have no players and considerably less if you have some or lots of players. But I also think in a week's time, because these players are going to get rarer and rarer and rarer, it's going to go up and up and up and it's going to be like potentially around 400,000 to complete. So we get this Cavani card and it looks great. I'm excited to look at his in-game. So obviously three star, three star, high, high, six foot. That is a big, big card. Dribbling other than balance is good. Composure is exceptional. Finishing, positioning. With a Hunter on, he'll go to 93 spin speed, 94 acceleration, 95 stamina, good address aggression, good jumping. That I want that on my road to glory. That is a card that I will use as, it, as an impact sub that will bang goal after goal after goal. That's a good one to do, guys. You can't turn this one down. That is a very, very, uh, very good SBC to do. Now, we're going to go and look at these packs. So we've got 20 packs in store, of course. And I'm just going to do them in order. I know that won't necessarily be the least value to the most value. We'll end up opening those Prime Gold Players packs earlier than anything else. But Premium Gold Pack number one. So for me personally, I obviously already had a considerable amount of uh, items in the club um, when I started this. I started with about 580,000 coins. So I spent about 70 to 80,000 on buying players and I already had I'd say about a third of the players I already had um, so you know I, I got away with spending probably another 150 to 120 K so we'll see how much money we make I send those up to the trade pile we'll see how much money we make from these packs and if you get lucky in a pack and all it takes is getting lucky in one pack one nice inform one icon one big walkout one shiny player uh, you know one a couple of um, like Hunter or Shadow Chem styles will be big 
and will go a long way to uh, generating some revenue back. Any silver um, kind of league SBCs, League One SBCs, any J League players will bring you some good revenue back. There's a, a lot of packs right here that you'll be able to pull back in a lot of revenue from. Um, we haven't got a board yet personally. We haven't got anything good for ourselves. But depending on what I get here, I would say that this uh, Cavani is going to cost me all ends up. Um, we're looking at, it, with bad luck here, I'd say about 150k. With good luck, potentially nothing. Potentially for free. Potentially 50, 60, 70k. And I would be more than happy with that. We haven't yet got a shine on the side of the pack. Um, it would be nice. We've got obviously the couple of prime gold players packs are going to be quite big. So we get, uh, you know, right wing to right mid there is nice. The thousand coin unlock is good. And all of these players, obviously, uh, we'll send them to the trade pile for the time being. They will have a good value, you know, a real good value. So we've got a couple of rare gold packs now, guys. Uh, prime gold player packs, premium electron player packs. Let's open the prime silver player packs. So 12 silvers, 6 rare, and 6 commons. And of course, any French league player here, or any uh, Saudi league player, or Mexican league player, any of those uh, leagues would be good. Uh, I'll actually go through it afterwards. We'll send those up to into the club. We'll send that guy up to the trade pile because he is for an SBC and we'll discard that guy. We've got 14 packs to go here. I will take another prime silver players pack. I will do the rare gold packs and the prime gold player packs last, guys. Hopefully we can get ourselves a decent uh, player. Just one decent player would be nice. So this guy, I would expect he would be alright as a fullback from the French League. I mean, we're looking at like 3 or 4k for him right now. There was one there for 3k. So maybe 2 to 3k right now. And I'm going to hold on to him for now because I believe that in a three, four, five days, he'll be at like four, five K. So I'm going to hold on to him. So we've got some uh, small rare gold pack, small rare, small prime, prime mixed players pack. Let's go for the prime mixed players pack first. And then we'll actually go from the back and uh, work our way in. So a prime mixed players pack, still no shine for us guys. Wait, wasn't that a prime mixed players pack? It was. We've got six shinies. No golds. We did get a French League 1, an English League 2, and a Dutch League 1 player though. So that's always going to be nice. Again, going back into the club that I can sell those players on for for the League SBCs is quite nice. 12 packs remaining. We'll start with the small rare gold players pack. This is obviously very similar to the 50k pack, just half the players. We finally get a ball player, guys. Let's go. Who's it going to be? EA. Mess, mess, really, really. I see Argentinian. I just immediately assume and hope that it's going to be Lionel Messi. It's not really Alan. Oh, wow. I actually did get a silver shiny in there. That is too bad. That wasn't great at all. Next pack. Small rare gold players pack. So six. Is this the same thing? It is the same thing, isn't it? No shine this time. So we get six golds uh, or six cards. Minimum five golds. Six shinies. And again, we did get another, uh, we did get another silver. But we actually got... Two le three left backs, one right back, but all decent cards. So they'll be sellable for a little bit more than normal at one stage or another. Small prime gold players pack this time, guys. So six golds, uh, three rare, or sorry, uh, six cards, five golds minimum. Sometimes you actually don't get the sixth gold. Sometimes you get that silver in there and it just kills you. But we get City in here and some more cards that we can send up to the trade part. I'm not pulling much back here, guys. This hasn't reduced the price for me. Uh, by too much at all. Unless I hit something worth 10, 20k or more, uh, we could be in a bad spot here. Another pack. We've only got one shine so far, guys, and it was really. So our pack luck really hasn't been on. This guy might be worth a fair bit, though, because, again, he's uh, from a from a good league for the league SBCs. We'll send all of these dudes up into the trade pile and just hang on to those players for a rainy day. We've got a few more premium Electrum player packs. Can we get just one more shine? Are we going to get an inform? Perhaps no shine on this pack either, guys. It is not looking to be our lucky day. We're going to send all of those guys into the club and all of these guys up to the trade pile. I might actually run out of space on the trade pile, which would suck. So two more premium election player packs, three rare gold packs, two prime gold player packs. Can we get aboard this one? Not in this pack either. Do we get even a decent player in one of these packs? No such luck. Uh, we'll send those bad boys up onto the transfer list. Six packs remaining. Premium Electrum Players Pack number three, our third and final Premium Electrum Players Pack. No board again. The pack gods are just not on my side today, guys. It could have been a lot better. I, I mean, we've still got a few packs to go. Who knows? Maybe there'll be a cheeky icon sitting in one of those or an Inform or a Ronaldo or a Messi. So three rare gold packs, dudes. 
and then two prime gold player packs to end off this video rare gold pack number one it does give us a ball there we go is it going to be a big player yes or no argentinian again center back mascherano the right club and the right nation just sadly the wrong position no Messi, but mascherano we also get a uh, real madrid center back in fernandez as well and scott sinclair too we'll send all of those items into the club and go for rare gold pack number two can we get back to back boards ea or are you going to screw us? Yes, we can. That's our third boards now. Come on, let's get a big player. Cameroon. CDM. Oh, it's a Driss again. If it was... Uh, there, there's a few better um, a few better players that could have been. A Driss is not bad, though. It's another board player. Can't complain too much about that. We definitely would have generated a fair amount back out of this. Obviously, I've stored a lot of the items into the club. I'd probably say that altogether this has cost me somewhere in the region of 150,000 coins. We get another board. Three in a row. Let's go, EA. Who's in this one? Yes, Valencia. That's more like it. A big pool there. What's that, like thirty to 40,000 coins for Antonio Valencia? And that has really, really, really just reduced the value of this SBC. Now we're looking at like 150k maximum for this Cavani. Maximum with two prime gold player packs to go. Can we get another player? That Valencia was very nice indeed. We get four boards in a row. These packs are paying out for us now. Argentinian again. Striker. Icardi. Not bad. A big 84 rated player there. Again, he has some value. And again, just really reduces the uh, the value down. We also get Bernadeschi and Claudio Bravo. A Leeds player in there as well. Not too bad. We'll send those bad boys up to the trade pile. And then last but not least, what do we get from our final goal pack? Another board. It's five in a row, guys. How about that? German. Centre-back. Mustafi. Okay, so not the greatest again. An 84 rate Premier League German, though. Always nice. Probably goes for at least four to 6,000 coins at this current point in time. We get Slimani in there as well. That wasn't bad at all. I tell you what, that was definitely, definitely cost me under 150,000 coins, including opportunity cost. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. For that Cavani card, super happy with that. This, so guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.